This is the oldest person in the world and she recently celebrated her 128th birthday, which means she was born in 1894, back when Times Square looked like this. Can you imagine what her base looks like on Clash of Clans? She lived through World War I and World War II, two pandemics, the Spanish flu and COVID-19. She's older than planes, the Titanic, cars and Chuck Norris. And I am going to meet her. That's right, my friends, me, Vian van der Berg, is going to meet the world's oldest lady. But there's one problem. I don't know where to find her. Like, not even a clue. I tried looking for her on Instagram, but nothing. I guess Instagram wasn't that popular back in the early 1900s. I even put up posters everywhere to try and find her, but that didn't work as well. You see, I need to ask her what is the secret to becoming 128 years old so that I can live to the year 2100 where we'll be on Mars, there'll be flying cars and dinosaurs will be back. Okay, maybe not that last one. And I've searched everywhere for the secret, including alphabet soup. I got it. O, U, U. Those are Cheerios. Guys, please smash that like button. I really need your support. It helps me make more videos. Please smash that like button and also subscribe. Now, as I was contacting every single newspaper I could find, I noticed that she wasn't yet officially recognized as the oldest person in the world. Even though so many papers, including The Mirror and BBC, have already claimed she is, and her ID literally shows when she was born. So I had to find her and help her get recognized, but I failed. No one could help me and I had to give up. This is worse than when you lose the mushroom in Mario. It's bad. And then, I let myself go. I became so obsessed with finding her that I didn't care about anything else. And my life just went backwards. It was even affecting my relationship. And I, I just, I don't know what to do. Like, he's lost it. Do you think he wants to become the oldest man alive? How do you think, how? I don't even think it's humanly possible. Like, it's gotten so bad. He doesn't shower. He doesn't stand up. He's just lying on the couch the entire day doing absolutely nothing. He's starting to smell. Like, he really stinks. And honestly, I don't know how to feel it. But then, some good news. In the one article, I found a guy who was running a campaign to help her get recognized. His name is Prophet OJ Marikong. I found his Facebook page and number, so I had my guy. Prophet, how are you? So he told me that the lady doesn't speak any English, only the language Setswana. But he luckily gave me the caretaker's number, but she also only speaks Setswana. So I had to think of something else. All right, thank you. Right? No, thank you. We got her! We finally did it, guys. We found the world's oldest lady. Thank you, Prophet OJ. You are a true legend. But there is still one small problem. You see, the area she's from is called Yubaton, which is enormous, and all I have is a house number. No street names, nothing. It's in a town called Klagstorp, which is also where my girlfriend is born, so she's gonna be the oldest lady in the world one day. Now, Klagstorp is also quite far away, considering all I have is a two-digit house number. That's it. So the only way for me to see her was to drive all the way to Klagstorp, and there's just no way I'm driving all the way to Klagstorp. There's just no... So Juliet, are we excited to meet the world's oldest lady? Yes, we are very excited. You look so beautiful Thank you. in your pink crocs. They're cute. We finally arrived in Klarksdorp. Now I did film the whole trip, but of course that would take way too long to show you. So I'll just show you a quick summary of the trip using paint. So we were driving and we got stuck in some traffic and then I decided to get out of the car and just politely ask them if they can move quicker when all of a sudden out of nowhere, a giant land megalodon appears and it started attacking everything and everyone started to panic. So I had to step in, so I grabbed the megalodon started to strangle it and he ran off i got back in the car and we drove off now that you're up to date we went to ask for some directions next you yes. okay cool so i have i have this all right and then if you'll just write that for me please it's oh sorry that's not a pin that's a it's a rectal thermometer let me just 
So at this stage, I only still had a house number, but the caretaker did tell us that the lady likes marshmallows, Coke, and KFC. So we thought we'd ask for directions in the store, but then this happened. So the lady working at the store just told me that I shouldn't go to Uberton because it's not safe. Um, and I said, well, what if I just ask around? They said, if I ask anyone around, it's not going to be safe at all. So I'm going to look for a police officer who can hopefully escort us there. Now, after doing some research, I had no idea how dangerous Ubaton actually was. In fact, one of the leaders of the Al-Qaeda gang was gunned down here, and business owners literally need to pay protection fees to the gangs. So I needed to get a police officer and ask them if it's safe and if they can go with us. Guys, please subscribe. I'm literally putting it all on the line. And then if I can just ask you, if we get there, the police, they'll follow us. You don't, do you think it's like a, a very unsafe area? It's a dead area till the, the police station. Okay. But from police station to Mama Okay. So the police officer was very helpful luckily. She told me that I should go to Ubertons police station um, and that someone will help me there. So that helps a lot. Uh, she did however say that it's not safe there at all and I shouldn't ask anyone uh, for any directions or anything. So yeah. We made our final stop at KFC and we were off. Just as we were entering Ubaton, I'm not kidding, a guy literally shouted at us through his wheelbarrow and told us to stop filming. Now I know there are some dangerous gangs, but wheelbarrow throwers, these guys don't play around. We safely arrived at the police station, which was full of goats, which was not weird at all. And we met up with a police officer who knew how to get us to Johanna's house. Subscribe or else. All right, so this is it. This is the big moment. I'm a little nervous. I don't even know what to ask her. Like, I haven't even thought this through. What if I mess up? What if I, what if I just don't know what to say? These aren't even real questions. It's just all a bunch of pictures of Steve Harvey. I, I, I just wanted to look professional. The police told us to be quick as it can get dangerous very quickly there. And as we were driving, we came across a sign that said, you are now entering a high crime zone. This forced us to stop and rethink the situation, leaving us with two options. Either go home and film on another day at a safer place or go there anyway, which would be extremely dangerous. So the choice was obvious. Hello everybody, how are you? Thank you so much for having us, eh? Who was the lady I spoke to on the phone? That was you. Nice to meet you. Afrikaans, better? Okay, perfect. I come um, as Afrikaans. So. This was a surreal moment for me to finally see Mrs. Johanna. And luckily for me, the caretaker said that she can speak a bit of Afrikaans. So I'm asking the questions in English for the camera and then off camera repeating them in Afrikaans and then she's going to repeat them in Setswana. So we'll see how this goes. What can go wrong? So, I just found um, Pretoria. Yes. Now I wanted to ask her what age she is, but I know that women usually don't like when you ask them their age. So I had to think of something else. How much do you weigh? <laughs> now, luckily, I had the perfect opener. A magic trick. So, um, Mrs. Joanna, it's very nice to meet you. To think that you've been living 128 years, that is something that no person has ever done, and I think that's amazing. Mm. She's the last person on earth to be born during the 1800s. Mm. So, she's lived through the Spanish flu, through World War I, World War II, mm. COVID, and I want to ask her if she's ever seen a magic trick in 128 years. Has she, has she seen a magician? Because most people never see a magic trick. A magic. Magic. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so you say? Okay. There's no, um, <laughs> there's no witches. Not real. Yeah. Nothing's real. Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. So, um, I'm going to ask her to, to mm. she knows cards, right? All right, so she can just take anyone she wants. One of those? All right, perfect. 
and then uh, you guys can have a look if you want and just remember the card okay perfect so thank you can put it back all right remember the card okay so watch this was it was it this one was it that one is, is, is this the card is the card no okay watch hold your hand like this okay watch <laughs> Watch, I'm going to change the card. Watch this. <laughs> oh, you want to see it? She said she wants to see it again. Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Watch, Omar, let me show you. You see the king? You see the king? I'm going to shake it. Watch. <laughs> As you can see by her reaction, Johanna was amazed. Now she did tell us that she's a bit hard of hearing, but she can see perfect. And as you can see, she has no problem talking. She looks, she, she looks better than me. She looks now I finally asked Johanna, what is the secret to living so long? But there was a lot of rain, but the police officer helped answer. In, in these years, she had never drank alcohol in his life. She had never smoked. So that is why she had lived so long. There you have it, guys. The secret to living so long. Now, I know that she is not yet um, officially recognized as the oldest lady in the world, which is completely wrong. Um, so I made one myself um it's it's very fancy it says the oldest person on now they also brought us her id to have a look and i couldn't believe it when it showed 1894 guys i'm literally holding the oldest id in the world well technically they renew it every few years but let's not talk about that so you're saying you're saying that she has children she has grandchildren they have children do they have children too and they have children too? <laughs> it just keeps going. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, to think 128 years. I wonder what life was like back then. This lady was literally in her 50s during World War II. That is insane. We got some, some KFC, <laughs> right? A, ba a bucket, so. All right. Johanna is a super sanitarian and the oldest person to ever live. As a kid, she ate locusts on the farms, and today she eats a modern diet. So. <laughs> so. So if. Uh, when she said thank you very much, it was the only Setswana that I understood. And it was so emotional for me because it was the only time that I understood her. She has seven children and only two are still alive. She has 50 grand and great grandchildren. She moved to Yubaton with her son just as apartheid was beginning. Her caretaker Malerato moved in with her and Johanna says that when she dies, she will check up on her because she's always looked so well after her. I've not only found the secret, but something more important, a friend.